Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be of a job that we did where we were using a dozer and doing what's called heavy ripping as part of a reforestation project in southwest Arkansas. The first part of the video is going to be an overflight of the areas where we were working before the dozing operation took place. And what you're going to see is a lot of logging slash on the ground. Some of the area has been burned. But primarily, I want you to see what the terrain looks like and what we're going to be working through. We're going to be using a John Deere 850 dozer set up with a rear ripper. And the requirements for this project are that we put our rips on contour 10 feet apart and two feet deep so it's going to be difficult to see while it's actually an ongoing operation but at the end of the video I'm going to do another flyover and you can see what this is going to look like on the ground following these contour lines and it'll make a lot more sense at the end of the video. We're starting out by removing some berms that were blocking access to the site and repairing some flood damage to the roads so we can get our trucks and other support equipment further back into the site. This first section I'm working on here is the log deck where they had set up the processing area and they stripped all the limbs off of the trunks and loaded them out of the site. And you're gonna see me stopping, or the dozer will stop, and you'll see me raise that ripper up, move a little further forward, put the ripper down and back up. And, and what I'm doing is getting over a stump. This whole area is littered with stumps from where the trees were cut off and sometimes I can either pull them out or the ripper will cut through them but a lot of times I've got to pick up, go over them and then start again so they can replant.
give you an idea how steep this terrain is. The top of that dozer is about eight feet above the ground. And when I'm going over this terrain, if you're looking at the top of the cab on that thing, that means I'm tipped over at a pretty steep angle. And that little jerk you saw there was backing over one of the seemed like one million stumps that I ran over out there doing this. You might notice that we've changed dozers. This is a brand new uh, John Deere 850 that uh, we got in to replace the last one I was using. And we had to replace it because it had a severe electrical problem that could not be fixed out in the field. Now the dozers we're using on this project came from a place called Yellow House Machinery out of Oklahoma. We uh, rented these dozers and, and had them brought in rather than trying to move equipment because it was this job pretty far from our home base and they were fantastic to work with any problem that we had they were really quick to jump on it and uh, and get it fixed or resolved so that we could continue working this little black bear cub was a surprise visitor we had one day we never did see his mama, but I'm sure she was in the trees somewhere close by.
And because of delays due to weather and the maintenance issues on that first job, there were a few nights that we ended up working after dark. Luckily, there was a really good light package on that uh, second dozer we got. This will give you a better idea of what I meant when I said we had to rip these on contour earlier in the video. Basically, you're going along the side of any slope that's in the terrain. And the reason you do that is that it prevents erosion. You don't want your rips going straight up and down a hill because it'll erode the soil. But it also, because it's on contour, gives a place for the water and nutrients to soak into the ground and help give, get those seedlings established and, and help them grow as they mature. And you can see where these lines intersect, every place that they change angle, that's a change in the contour line. With delays for weather and maintenance issues, we were actually on site for this job for 30 days and about 18 to 20 days of that was actual blade in the ground working on this project. So that was pretty decent production rate given it was one machine and we were having to do quite a bit of uh, maneuvering around to different small areas in the forest to get all this done. All right, folks, that's going to wrap this video up for today. Hopefully you got some useful information out of it or at least a little entertainment. Thank you for watching and y'all have a good day.